girlfriend? I can't believe it. He was supposed to help me with her. He said he's taking up two tables over there. And she shows up at the door, first thing she does is ask for a family and friends discount. Did you give it to her? Well, she's my mother. Can you believe it? She's telling me how to pick a melon? I could sniff out a ripe melon in Jersey if I had to. You should have slapped her face. I just had a manicure. Friends do nothing. They do something for me. Oh, has got nothing to do with food. Willpower and a schedule. What if you have to be somewhere? What are you gonna do? I can pull the fire alarm and clear the place out. And they'll just come back tomorrow with their rabbi, barber, and canasta club. Oh, good! Your dad's friend pulled a nickel out of the waitress's ear again. Hey, hi. What are you guys staring at? In this corner, the undefeated hey. Persnax champ, Shirley Maisel. And in that corner, the challenger and prune skeptic, Moish Maisel. And they are not together. Not by a long shot. This is too bad, Timbers. Bye, right, folks. Come again. Am I kidding? Well, sorry that your dreams are coming to an end, but before they do, can I get 10 minutes with the band breaks? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mrs. Maisel. Miriam! That's my former daughter-in-law. Miriam! So pale. What are you doing up there? I'm going to do my act. For who? For all the nice people looking very perplexed right now. Leave her alone, Shirley. If she wants to try and tell a joke, let her learn the hard way. My butcher is funnier. He's not funny. Nice look, and she should sing. I not a singer, but I am currently a writer for the Wait, Gordon. I was distracted. Miriam, start your act again. But I haven't really started my act yet, Shirley. Trust me, when she starts it, you won't laugh. Pop, shut up. Shut up, he says, the fruit of my loin. If you're not gonna help, then get out. I am helping. She needs to rethink this career. Who else would tell her? Miriam, ignore him. Pretend he's not there. Okay, so. I am a single woman living in New York. Me too. You're not single, Ma. Joel, really? Sorry. Have you ladies ever approached a subway station and it's really dark at the bottom of the stairs? They don't light them properly. That was a rhetorical question, Shirley. She only asked it to set something up. Not that it was going anywhere. So the other night, I'm heading down these really dark stairs. You didn't have a flashlight? I have two. One for light and one to use as a weapon. She's so small. Shirley, you're blinding me. Just like the attacker. That's good, right? Okay. Moving on. Uh, yesterday, the principal tells me my son is sleeping during class. What happened to Ethan? He's sleeping in class. Why? Because he doesn't drink coffee? I don't know. Okay, folks, the show is up here. I, I forgot where I was. For the love of God, do not start again. Here, I have a joke. Guy walks into a bar holding a one-foot-tall man playing the piano. The bartender says, my genie must be hard of hearing. I didn't ask for a 12-inch pianist. <laughs> Miriam, there you are. I have to tell you, I thought you were just terrific up there. Hey, thank you, Shirley. I enjoyed every minute of it. Is this how your shows always go? No, most of the time I get to tell a joke. Really, that's so interesting. Well, it was a delight. Listen, while I have you here, I need some information from you. About? May, where is she? Joel told me she was interviewing for a doctor job. Yes, she was. How long does that take? I don't, I don't really How many know. questions can they ask? When I go to the doctor, all he does is take my pulse and bum a cigarette. Well, I think it's a bit more involved than that. So you do know something? No. Just tell me. Is she carrying high or low? I've been knitting pink booties and blue booties. I'm completely in the dark. Well, this baby can't come into the world with cold feet. What a terrible start. Sure. I'm going crazy, Miriam, please. Just tell me something, anything. I think she went to visit her family. Where's her family? In China. Wasn't there a revolution in China? Yes. There was, which is why she's not back yet. Did she enlist? No, it's just there's a lot of red tape. Ah, get it? Never mind. She'll be home soon. Will you excuse me? I think I left there. <laughs>